Hello, on the bench today I have Bean Sprout Banjo number 12. Um, came back from the original customer to get some setup work done. October 2007, which was a bit of a surprise for me. I didn't think I got really going on this with Heidi and Rob till maybe 2008 or 9, but apparently October 2007. I need to adjust my own memory. Um, it's interesting to look at an old instrument like this because in general it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I was talking with Nicole last night. At this time, I had a little bandsaw and a little belt sander. I had, I didn't own a chisel or a plane or a spoke shave or any traditional hand tools. I don't know how I got these done, um, but it's pretty cool. The main thing that we're going to work on is that this bridge was like a commercially available bridge. It's too tall and it's the wrong string spacing for this neck. I used to make the necks pretty wide, um, so I got to tweak that. I'll do new strings, Aquilas instead of fluorocarbons. I'll fix the nut, which needs some work. I'll dress the frets and in, in uh, the fret ends as well. Tighten the skin head. I only used skin heads back then. And also I used to use these flanges that Bill Rickard made for me, which is a pretty cool design, but it, it's pretty heavy and then the pot has to be pretty thick to hold that. So it's a heavier design than I do now. Uh, and this neck is a little skinny from what I would do now. But like I said, I think I was just shaping these on a belt sander. So I'm surprised it's pretty good. I like how it sounds. It sounds just like how you, you would expect. Um, also, I was using like um, Chinese copies of Gotos back then because they didn't make the little Gotos that they make now. And uh, yeah, I look forward to getting this back on track for the original customer. Um, it's cool to visit. Cheers.